Hey folks, it's Pastor Jordan here bringing you today's daily devotional from this gorgeous spot. I'm down um, in the Mohawk uh, River Valley near this uh, this pond that set off from the river back a ways. Uh, and you can hear the breeze uh, in the trees again this morning. The sun is, is uh, up over here. Um, and it just casts beautiful light over God's creation as uh, the world comes to life around me. Um, I just witnessed uh, a bird um, swoop down, uh, touch the water, and then take off and fly up into the clear blue sky over here. And it's, uh, it's a beautiful, um, beautiful reminder to be in God's presence, uh, in God's creation. And it's a reminder that we are God's people. We are um, the sheep, and He is the Good Shepherd. I've, I've been on this theme a little bit since we hit Psalm 23 last week, and we're going to hear in today's scripture another description of the Lord as uh, our Shepherd. And I hope that you take that on today. I hope that you feel uh, the shepherding of the Lord in your life. My brothers and sisters, it is for times like these uh, that our faith is there to carry us through, to, to bring us through these hard times when we don't know what's next or what's best or what's right or, or uh, how to proceed and weighing options and wondering and worrying about different things it's it's hard especially when being adults that we are we feel like uh, you know we're the ones in charge and we are supposed to have the answers and supposed to know what to do all the time and you know sometimes uh, that's not as easy as it is in other times sometimes this world. It's the Lord that, that sees that these birds have the food that they need. It is the, it is the Lord that moves this breeze by the, by the power of the laws of physics. It's, uh, it's a, a blessing to realize that we are small and that God is great. And so I hope that you get a sense of shepherding today whatever that might mean for you. Um, some of you may be working today. Some of you may have uh, tasks ahead of you as this day unfolds. Um, some of you may be uh, doing other things, uh, taking care of, of things that need doing in your household or, or on your property, whatever that might be. In that, I invite you to look for that shepherd in your life. To look for that presence of God that, that is always there, but that sometimes we fail to see. I invite you to look today for that. And in the scripture that we have for us today, it's, uh, it comes from the closing words of the book of Hebrews from the New Testament. And it's this uh, benediction. It's the, the blessing that, uh, that is given to the people to whom this book was written. And, uh, and we'll hear in this another moment where uh, God is, is called our shepherd. And, uh, listen to these words now from the book of Hebrews. It's uh, chapter 13, verses 20 and 21. It's just the very end of the book. Well, almost. There's the final benediction and greeting after. But um, yeah, this is the, uh, the original benediction from from the book of Hebrews. Listen now for the word of the Lord. Now may the God of peace who brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, make you complete in everything good so that you may do his will, working among us that which is pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen. 
And that's the uh, blessing that I invite you to take into your day today. May the, the Lord, who is uh, Jesus Christ, the, the good shepherd of sheep, may he make you complete. What do you need for completeness in your life? Can you ask for that? Maybe you're uh, needing to ask God for that which makes you complete. Maybe you need to ask a neighbor or a friend for that which makes you complete. What do you need to make you complete for the Lord, the Good Shepherd, wants you to be whole, wants you to be complete so that his vision for the kingdom can be built up through you. You see, the Lord is working constantly towards that kingdom, that restorative power that makes us all one, that makes everything whole and complete. The Lord is working that in you. The Lord is working that in me. The Lord is working on that in the whole world. My brothers and sisters, may we tune in today. I hope you have an opportunity to do that. May you uh, go knowing that you have the good shepherd as the leader of you and your flock. This flock that we're all a part of. He is our shepherd, my brothers and sisters. Take that blessing with you today. We'll close now with uh, today's prayer from Pastor Art. And as we uh, pray this prayer, he's invited us into yet another uh, breath prayer today. And so um, we'll begin with uh, some time just uh, pausing and, and uh, experiencing that breath prayer together. And then we'll close um, with the prayer that he has uh, sent me for today. Our prayer when we're breathing in this morning is Creator God. And when we breathe out alive in me, let us take a moment to, to breathe that prayer together. Creator God, alive in me. Creator God, alive in me. Creator God, alive in me. Let us pray. Lord, the sun rises bright this morning on the 5th of May. You are my teacher. Thank you. touch, taste, feel with greater awareness. Creator God, alive in me. May I relate to others in a more meaningful way. Creator God, alive in me. May I not brush aside any part of the day without being attentive to your Holy Spirit. Creator God, alive in me. You are alive in me all day long. O mystery of life, be my guide today. Amen.